Sisters, hey, where do you come from? They tell us, hey, our past began on the slave ships. But when you read the Bible, the Bible lets you to go. Read um, Deuteronomy. I know I said it to Deuteronomy 28, but go to Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Go to Deuteronomy 7 and 6. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. Read it out. One more time. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. Read it out. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God had chosen, had chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. So you hear what the Bible says? The Bible says he chose you to be a special people unto himself. We didn't choose God, he chose us. That's right. That's right. That's right. You can see it, you can see it wherever you go. Anything we put our minds to, to do, we become the best in it. You all understand? Anything, and you all see that in our, our ways of people. But continue reading, our special people. Uh, the Lord thy God had chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people. The Bible doesn't say equal. Above all people. That's right. That are right. upon the face of the earth. You heard what the Bible says? We are special people above all people that are upon the face of the earth. The Bible says that. That's why God said, hey, when we do something, he gave us laws, statutes, and commandments. Hey, brother, don't put on a skirt. Okay? I believe in the Bible. I'm going to put on a skirt. You know? Guess what? We didn't know these things neither. We didn't know these things. Most of us up here are married men. I myself am married. This brother is married. This brother is married. Most of us are married men and we have jobs. But guess what? We know our people need the Bible. That's right. That's so right. Go right. now to Deuteronomy 28 now and read verse 15 because there's a reason. There's a reason why we went on the slave ships. Yet if your father tells you, um, Miriam, see I remember your name, Miriam. If your father tells you, Miriam, come home at nine o'clock and you come home at 12 o'clock, what is gonna happen? Yes, he's gonna be angry and he might even give you punishment, right, um, Emanuela? Yes. Exactly. Now read um, 28 and verse 15. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. 
This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 15. Bring it up. Bring it up. It shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So Moses is telling the 12 sons of Jacob, this is going to happen if you all do not listen to God, exactly what God says, to observe, to do all his commandments. So to observe and to do. The word do is an action word. All his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses, all these what? That all these curses, all these curses, shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Guess what? Going into slavery on ships to be sold, that's a curse. That's right. That's, that's a right. curse. Right. That's the, right. the reason why is because we didn't listen. The 12 sons of Jacob thought Moses were crazy. Moses, you know who he is? The chosen people of God. We above all people. God ain't going to set us into slavery. That's what, that's what the 12 sons thought in their mind. So now we understand why we were sent into slavery. Because guess what? Go to uh, Deuteronomy 28 and read from uh, verse 45. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 45. Read 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder, and upon thy seed forever. So these curses, everything you see here, these curses will be upon us for a sign and a wonder. You know, a sign lets you know, hey, there is Homerson Casino. There is Declaton. A sign lets you know, what is there and where you're gonna go. So guess what, these curses are upon us to let us know that we are the children of Israel. That's right! That we are the chosen people of God according to the Bible. That's right! That's why these curses are upon us. Because, guess what? If I asked, um, I know you just came. Um, you, you speak English or Dutch? English, okay. So I'm gonna ask you a question. This is a sign and a wonder that the Bible is speaking about. If I ask you, <coughs> what race of people went on to slavery, went into slavery on ships? You see, that's the sign and the wonder that the Bible is saying it will be upon us forever. Because that only happened to us. That only happened to the 12 sons of Jacob. The 12 tribes of Israel went into slavery on ships according to the Bible. So that lets us know that hey, huh? we are more special, just like we read in Deuteronomy 7-6, we are special and we are above all people. That's what the Bible letting us to know. That hey, we are, we, we've been through a lot. We are in hell. This is hell. Look around. This is what hell, hell looks like. The Bible calls it hell. Why? Because this is still going on. Slavery is still going on. That's right. That's right. And it's still legal in some countries. But we live in Netherlands, so everything, everything glitters, everything shines, everything clean. So we, we don't think about these things no more. But when you go on the news, you see that slavery still is happening. That's right. People are still being sold. People are still in these conditions. Because this is the, um, the this is our brothers also too. The Indians, they, were, they went into slavery before us. That's right. That's right. That's right. They went into slavery before us. We went into slavery later on. When I mean we, I mean the, the, the three tribes, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, we later on went into slavery, 1619. But these are our brothers, they went into slavery. You remember when they said um, Christopher Columbus went to the Americas, and hey, they went into slavery that time, and they went into hell that time. But these are the atrocities. Now, read now Deuteronomy 28 and verse 48. Wait, read 32 first. You also understand what we are reading, okay? This is Moses speaking to the 12 sons of um, Jacob. Listen what he says. 
This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 15. Bring it up! But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So Moses is telling the children of Israel, if you don't listen to the voice of God, go ahead. To observe, to do all his commandments, huh? and his statutes which huh? I command thee this day, huh? that all these curses, all these what? All these curses, you heard what he said, Vincent? Up, all these curses shall come upon thee, all these curses shall come upon us and overtake us. Jump down to verse 32. Thy, verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. So, what race of people did that happen to? Bring it up! Look at this picture here. Look at this picture here. Lift it up, lift it up. This picture here. You, you, you all saw 12 years of slave? You all saw the movie? You all saw um, Roots? Amistad, exactly. Guess what? All of those movies are portrayed in these pictures. Guess what? You see this father and this mother is holding their child? Read De Deuteronomy 28, 32 again. So they are holding their child in their hand, but guess what? The child is born. The child is, exactly. So now read it again. Thy sons and thy daughters uh -huh. shall be given unto another people, and thy eyes shall look and fail with long for them. All the day long. We wouldn't have any power to get back our sons and daughters. When you watch Roots, guess what? Um, what was his name? Kunta Kinte? Hey, all of them were shipped off. You go to this plantation. You go to that plantation. You go to that plantation. And they never got to see each other ever again. That's right. That's right. They never got to see each other again. Now go to verse 48 now. Go to verse 40. Remember, this, these are the curses. We are reading from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, from verse 15 to 68, speaks about curses. We are just jumping through a few. Yeah. So read verse 48. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 48. Yeah. It up. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. Therefore shalt what? Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. Bring it up! Which the Lord shall send against thee. Who send them against us? Which the Lord shall send against thee. Yeah, go ahead. In hunger and in thirst. In hunger. In hunger. Guess what? Look around. Where's the process? There you have Albert Hain. Here you have McDonald's. Do our people, our people who went into slavery, own McDonald's, or own Albert Hain? So the Bible says in hunger. We shall go to our enemies for food. Right. And in what? And in thirst. In thirst. Water. Guess what? Water falls straight from the sky. But here in Netherlands, you cannot take a bucket or a big pool and catch water. You will get a boot for it. No. So the Bible is saying, even water, even if you are thirsty, you will have to go to your enemies. Continue. And in nakedness. Guess what? Clothes. You have Intersport here. You have T-Max. Even for our clothes that we have on, we will have to go to our enemies and get our clothing. Continue. And in want of all things. In want of all things. Um, in want of all things. Guess what? Our passport. You want a passport, you have to go to your enemies. You want a driver's license, you have to go to your enemies. You want schooling, you have to go to your enemies. Guess what? You want, you want a telephone. You have to go to your enemies and buy your telephone. That's what the Bible says. Continue reading. And in want of all things, uh -huh. and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. One more time. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. And the Bible says he's going to put a yoke of iron, a yoke of iron, a yoke of iron upon our sisters. You all seen this? He's going to put a yoke of iron upon our necks. Upon our necks. Continue reading. Until he had destroyed you. Until he destroyed us. Until we didn't know who we are anymore. Well, that's right. That's right. Until we didn't even know that hey, Jerusalem, Jerusalem is the motherland. 
That's what the Bible says. Now jump to verse 68 now. Get me verse 68. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 68. This is the proof now. Go ahead. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So he's going to bring us into slavery, into bondage. Get me that in Exodus 20 and 2. The word Egypt is synonymous for slavery. Because I don't know if you're, you have a Bible name, eh? And you have a Bible name. So, what were we doing in Egypt when Moses told Pharaoh, let my people go? You, you remember the, the, the history of order? Or oh, Vincent, do you remember the history of order? When Moses said, let my people go, Pharaoh, what did Pharaoh say? No. His heart was hardened, exactly. That's right. So, read Exodus 20 and verse 2 now. This is the book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. This explains what the word Egypt means. I am the Lord. Put that down. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Out of the land of Egypt. Out of the house of bondage. Out of the house of what? Out of the house of bondage. Out of the house of bondage, the house of slavery. So go back now to Deuteronomy 28. Now we're gonna read what um, Egypt, you, now you know what Egypt means. House of bondage, house of slavery. Go to 68 and read it from the top again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. With house of ships. bondage, house of slavery. With what? With ships. With what? With ships. We are going to go into slavery with ships. With ships. With ships. Only our people. But continue. No, no, don't read it up yet. We we'll get to it. Continue reading. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee. Just like how Moses says, we are going to go on slavery with ships. It's going to happen to us. Continue. And thou shalt see it no more again. We will never get to see our homeland, Jerusalem, again. Go ahead. And there ye shall be sold. And dear, and dear, and dear. When we come off of those slave ships, we were going to be what? Sold unto your enemies. You were going to be what? Sold unto your enemies. Guess what? Guess what happened? What's happening to these people right here? Now you can hold it up. Guess what's happening to these people right here? They're being auctioned. They're being sold. Look, look, it says here. Cash. Men, women, and children were being sold. Sold. The Bible, what does so, and they're going to be sold for what? What's going to be sold for? And there you shall be sold unto your enemies uh -huh. for bond men, for slave men, and bond women, and slave women. Go ahead. And no man shall buy you. And no man is going to free us. Nobody is going to be able to free us. In the Americas, you had Martin Luther King. You had Malcolm X. In Africa, you had who? Continue. One more. Nelson Mandela. We also try to. Nelson Mandela try to feed us from. But the Bible says only Jesus Christ. That's right. That's the, right. The, the right. Black Messiah. Hold this up. Hold this up. Only Jesus Christ, the Black Messiah, according to the Book of Revelation, chapter one and verse fourteen. Remember, we read for you all. According to the Bible, this is a better depiction of Jesus Christ than this. His name, okay, put that down, hold up the prisoner. Hold up the prisoner. Bring it out! This person's name, you have Google? You have Google on your telephone? You don't have, okay. Brother Vincent, you have Google on your telephone? Okay. When you type in Caesar Borgia in Google, um, type in Caesar Borgia in Google, you're gonna get a, this depiction. You're gonna get this depiction. This is nowhere in the Bible. So now, but um, put on the prisoner now. Now we know, now we know who we are, how important we are to God. So we know we were sent into slavery on ships. But a Vincent, Sister Emanuela and Sister Miriam. See, I remember your names. So, you type it in, and what, what picture did you get? See, you see the name that he typed in there? Caesar Borgia. Show it to Brother Vincent also. And those are the pictures you get when you type in Caesar Borgia. According to the Bible, 
Jesus Christ is a black man. That's right! right. Alright? So, now that we know who we are, get me 1 Kings 8, because remember you read um, Deuteronomy 22 and 5 when it says a woman shall not bear. So now you all know things that what you all have to work on. Alright? Guess what? I have also three daughters. Three beautiful daughters, they all as you all. You know, but they also be a nice, beautiful states. All right? Get our first Kings 8. First Kings 8 and verse uh, 46. This is what we should start doing now as a people. As a people, we have to start doing this. Because in some of the curses also, it says that we will be hated of all nations. That's right. That's right. Exactly. We will be. That's the Bible. It says we will be hated of all nations. When you turn on the TV, Hey, they call us names, they call us this, they call us that. But guess what? According to the Bible, we read Deuteronomy 7 and 6 again. Brother Vincent wasn't here. And what's your name, brother? What's your name? Um, Prince. Prince. Brother Prince. <laughs> hey, that's right. Brother Prince. <laughs> well, guess what? Hey, that name is also in the Bible, you know? The word Israel means as a prince we have power with God. That's right. That's right. That's right. So hey, maybe you didn't know. Now you know, eh? Now you know. But what a prince, what a prince is, you all wasn't here. I know, I know it's in the whole, But listen what Deuteronomy 7:6 says. Listen what God says about the children of Israel. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. Huh? For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. So we are holy people unto God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. He chose us. A special people, a what? A special people uh -huh. unto himself. Uh -huh. Above, equal, above, equal, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. That's, That's right. 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 You hear what God said? We are special people above all people. Because guess what? When you look up the history, right? The stoplights. Did you all know? Who, who made the stoplights? Exactly. We made the stoplights. Our forefathers made the stoplights. That's right. Our forefathers started the first Nintendo game, the first telephone, the first car. You name it. You, you, you think of something. Think of something in your head. Guess what? Our forefathers did that in slavery. But because we were in slavery, because we were in this, we were still in the curses up to this day. We are still in the curses up to this day. That's right. So that's why it's important for us now, once we understand, oh, we um, go back now, read songs of songs again. I want Brother Vincent also to hear this and Brother Prince. Brother Prince. Brother Read um, songs of Solomon because Brother Vincent and Brother Prince wasn't here. Because what we have to do, we have to realize, we have to come back to the Bible. The Bible is speaking, it's not speaking about religion. Nowhere in the Bible can you read Seventh-day Adventists, Pentecost, and all of those Methodists, Catholic. You can't read none of those things in the Bible. The Bible is talking about laws, statutes, and commandments. Things that we can do and things that we can't do. Simple and plain. So, read Songs of Solomon. We start with verse 1 again. This is the book of Songs of Solomon. The Song of Songs, which is Solomon. So, the Song of Songs, which is Solomon. So, he's letting you to know Solomon wrote this book. No one can say, hey, someone else wrote this book. He said, I'm writing this book. The Song of Songs, which is Solomon. Jump to verse 5. This is the Song of Solomon, chapter 1, and verse 5. Sisters. Y'all ever heard about Solomon? Y'all ever heard about Solomon? Listen what King Solomon said. Bring it out! I am black. Did y'all ever hear that? Yeah. We're reading out of the Bible. You, you understand English or Dutch? English or Dutch? English? One more time for the sisters. What did King Solomon say? I am black, but come. I am black, but Beautiful. That's right. 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 
what race of people on the earth says, but a prince, but a prince, what race of people on the earth says, I am black, but beautiful. Exactly, black people, it says, I am black, but beautiful. One more time for the sisters, the, 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 the sisters look a little shocked. The song of Solomon, song of Solomon, song of Solomon, chapter one and verse five. Read it for the, read it again for the sisters. I am black. Song of song. This is the song of song which which is Solomon. Verse five. This is the Psalms of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 5. Bring it out! I am black, but come. I am black, but come. I am black, but beautiful. That's right. King Solomon said, King Solomon said that, brother prince, I am black, but beautiful. So guess what? The Bible is speaking about us. The Bible is speaking about us. So go now to 1 Kings chapter 8 and verse 46. Because now that we know King Solomon was a black man. Who was King Solomon's father? No, you know who was King Solomon's father? Sister um, e Emanuela and Sister Miriam. Do you know who, who was King Solomon's father? No? You? Okay, King Solomon's father was King David. That's right. That's right. So if King Solomon was black, you know David was a black man. That's right. Yeah. Right. You understand? So now go to First Kings chapter eight and start at verse forty-six. This is the book of First Kings chapter eight and verse forty-six. Huh? If they sin against thee, so we all sin, even we up here. We all sin, but we try our best now to keep God laws to the best of our ability. Continue. For there is no man. If they sin against me, for there is no man that sinneth not. And thou be angry with them. Because guess what? God angry with us when he, when he did this. He was angry. Go ahead. And deliver them unto the enemy. So, so that they carry them away captives unto a land of the, of the enemy. Guess what? That happened to us. We were carried on ships unto other nations. Go ahead. Far or near. Yet, if they shall protect themselves. Guess what? Brothers and sisters, you all be thinking. Right now, you all be thinking yourselves right now. You all hearing about the 12 tribes of Jacob, 12 tribes of Israel. You all seeing that we are reading about slavery in the Bible. You all seeing that black color, color is in the Bible. And not only color, our color is in the Bible. Christ is in the Bible depicted as a black man according to Revelation chapter 1. And according to Daniel chapter 10. Now continue read verse 47 again. Yet if they shall be taking themselves. So that's what that's what we are doing now. We be taking ourselves in the land whether they were carried away captives. Right here in the Netherlands, we be taking ourselves and they and repent and make supplication unto me. And repent. The word repent just means to change our ways. Just just to change our ways. You understand? A lot of us did some crazy stuff. You know, but the Bible says, okay, you know now, according to the Bible, you're not supposed to do any more of the crazy stuff. Stop. And just change. Read, read from the word repent. And repent and make supplication unto thee. In the land of them which, that carry them away captive, saying, Okay, so this is what we have to say to God. We have sinned and have done reversal. We have committed wickedness. And so return unto thee with all their heart. So return unto thee or with all their heart. Get for instance, uh, Brother Vincent, if I love you as a brother with all my heart, guess what? I'm not going to do anything evil to you. 
So God says, once we break his laws, it's being evil to him. Because he chose us to be a greater people. That's right. You understand? So now, um, read um, 48 again. And so return unto thee with all their heart uh -huh. and with all their soul uh -huh. in the land of their enemies which led them away captives uh -huh. and pray unto thee toward their land. So we, we have to pray unto God and speak unto God and tell God, hey God, I have done craziness and I want to change my ways. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.